National Police Week, and tomorrow the Savannah Police Department will hold its annual police memorial, which will honor 58 officers who have died in the line of duty. And this year's ceremony will rewrite the history of the department after an historian discovered two forgotten fallen officers from centuries past. Our Michaela Romero has a story. The names on this police memorial monument dates back to the end of the Civil War, but two names who were forgotten will finally be added. A local historian shares the story of how two police officers were killed by one of their own. So it's Edward G. McNichols and James Foley were killed on April 7th, 1866. And uh, they died in the line of duty. They were shot uh, by an off-duty police officer who had gotten drunk and was, they were trying to um, take his pistol away from him. Mark O'Dell, a local historian, says although it happened over a hundred years ago, you will recognize the streets where the crime scene happened. It was at uh, what was then called um, the corner of Liberty and West Broad, which was now uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, and um, it was outside a bar called uh, Neville's Bar. Odell says McNichols and Foley were trying to do the right thing. After he got kicked out of the bar at Neville's, um, he was brandishing his police-issued uh, revolver, and the um, Edward G. McNichols, the police officer, tried to um, apprehend him. Uh, there was a struggle there, and he fired into the chest of McNichols. Um, and then a couple more officers were coming at him, and then um, another shot um, hit James Foley in the chest. Odell shows us the final resting place for officers McNichols and Foley today. Edward McNichols was um, married into this family uh, through Mary uh, Strafford, who was a cousin of Richard Korsh here. And so he's buried in this lot. He just doesn't have a marker here. James Foley is buried in the uh, what was called the free ground at the time, and that was eventually closed and um, kind of redesignated uh, for paid burials. So um, the the location where he's at won't be able to be found. He says although their bodies can't be found at an exact location, he is glad his discovery has led to the two being recognized and remembered for their heroic actions on the police memorial monument, even if it was over a century ago. I'm very elated um, that, that, we're, that it all panned out well and that um, the police department was very uh, ambitious to go ahead and get the ball rolling and getting them included um, in the ceremony and to eventually get their names um, engraved on the monument. Um, I'm honored to be the one that, that found this out and I'm excited to share it with the city of Savannah. Mark O'Dell says although it took years to discover, he is glad the two will finally be recognized and he will lay a rose in their honor. At Savannah Police Headquarters, Michaela Romero, WTOC. Well, the police memorial ceremony is at 10 o'clock in the morning at the Habersham and Oglethorpe. WTOC will stream it live online.